Okay, so here we are having a look at the irrigation system. So we wanted to put an integration system into the poly tunnel and uh, we've been through a couple of different things. We thought about the soaker hose. So we looked at um, these soaker hoses that are made of recycled tyres, most of them, but we were concerned about the toxicity of uh, recycled tyres going into the water, going up through the plants and maybe even into the fruits because recycled tyres contain heavy metals and things like that so we didn't like the idea of that dangerous stuff so we thought right we'll try these these are uh, PVC water pipes right so they're drinking water quality pipes um, so we thought we'll use our system with like that so what we've done is <clears throat> we've got the garden tap out the back uh, the water comes through uh, one of the uh, black water pipes and all this stuff here. Oh, this stuff's. Uh, we got that from water irrigation. So, this is the stuff that they, they clip the wee uh, drip systems into. You know, and you can have alternative. Just plug them in. You plug them in, you cut them in, and you might get a wee spray or whatever coming off of it. So, we're growing tomatoes in here, so um, we wanted. Uh, to be able to water every plant and we don't really want it spraying everywhere all over the foliage yeah so we so want what, it quite close to the ground yeah so what we've got uh, is a 15 millimeter pvc pipe it's just push fit stuff stayed easy to use and uh, so this is the main this is the main supply coming in here right so mm -hmm. the water's coming in along here down there to the end down this line on the left. Yeah, and it's going back up here. Round the bend. And then... Back up here. Crossing over here. Back up. It's going to cross over here. Crossing through a length of the black. And then it's going along here to that end. And that's half of the polytunnel. The other half is going to be done with the other line. Mm -hmm. So we've got a, a timer out there and it's got two outlets to it. So. We'll be able to time it so as we uh, water one half of the polytunnel for however long it takes and then it will switch over to the other half and it will water that as well and that will save us a lot of pumping uh, canisters water back and forth, water canisters back and forth. There's another thing what we've done here is we've got these wee pipe clips and uh, we had some wee scrap bits of wood and we put the wee pipe clips on and what that's done is um, it's allowed us to level up the the pipes because this ground runs away quite a bit you know, so here it's just a little bit down there it's quite a bit more off the ground in order to try and level it up mm -hmm. so we've just actually we've just actually turned this on and we've just actually got the thing working so um, we're quite pleased with ourselves we did try and use blue mdpe pipe didn't we yeah we, we used a uh, 22 millimeter Blue MDPE pipe, but it's, it's too big a diameter, so the pre there wasn't enough pressure. There wasn't enough pressure to go right round the half the polytunnel, so we've reduced it to 15 mil. And then the other thing we've done is we've used really a really small drill bit. I mean that there is absolutely tiny. It's one millimeter diameter, and we were concerned about. Um, the, the chuck, the drill bit actually holding this thing, but it held it fine, mm -hmm. so that was good. Uh, and so there's one of these holes on every one. We contemplated putting more holes in it to give each plant two, but we don't want to risk it in case we then lose too much pressure. I'm just going to leave it as it is. There's one of the things that we think we could do is, I mean, this is us just started this, so. These little jets will probably erode a hole in the compost. So we're I... thinking we could maybe put down a little mat or something like, uh, you know, these uh, scourer mats. Scourer mats. You get, no. you could, we could get some of them, cut them up, and put a little mat down so that the water's hitting the mat, taking the force and it's spreading out. And the other thing is, we used that water bottle to test, right, to test how, how much we... water was coming out at each jet. Yeah, so we just, Jamie just 
We got this water bottle, we held it under here, timed how long it took. That's one litre, it took three minutes, 15 seconds, seconds three and a quarter minutes to deliver one litre of water to one plant. So we can test the other just to see if they're the same. But roughly then, though, roughly how many uh, plants was there? It's 36 plants. So that's 36 uh, litres, assuming litres. they're coming out at roughly the same three, rate. Uh, in three, three minutes, three and a quarter minutes. So if we run it for, initially when the plants are small, if we run it for 10 minutes, they'll each get 3 litres. That's enough. Uh, more than enough probably. But we want to put enough in so that it kind of soaks through the bed and, and waters some of the plants because on the perimeter that are yeah. a, bit, you know, a bit of a distance away from the wee jet. We've got these marigolds in here for the purposes of deterring pests. Because the marigolds are supposed to deter pests, so we've got at least a hundred marigolds planted up the borders here. Uh -huh. So anyway, that's us. That's our ir irrigation system. It's worked out quite well. We're really pleased. Yep. So Maybe we'll fill them a bit more when we're putting the other. We're, we're going to put the other side in tomorrow, and we'll film it and let you see us doing it. Yep. All right. Cheerio.